What is up guys, Andy Forrest, Steam Runner here and welcome back to another video and today I'm giving you an update on the New Balance 880 version 12 after 100 miles. So this is the first New Balance shoe that I've been testing out for a while. I went through a phase of using a lot of New Balance shoes. I think it was back in 2019 and they were definitely my brand of the year. Tested a load of them and they really do work for me. So I was excited when I got this shoe to get back on foot in a New Balance shoe and see how it felt and it did not disappoint. So I'm excited to give you my thoughts on the 880 version 12 after 100 miles. If you're excited for today's video guys make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and we'll start with the wear and tear. So as I always say with every 100 mile review you don't want to see anything major going on at this stage and once again with this shoe I'm pleased to say that it is holding up really nicely although there is a little bit of wear on the outsole which I will show you now quick disclaimer I have been using this shoe for walking around a fair bit I got rid of my Nova Blast 2s and I've been using these for a walking shoe uh, for a few weeks now. I reached 100 miles a few weeks ago. So naturally, there's going to be a little bit more wear than what I what there would have been at that first initial 100 mile stage. But what I did make a note of at that time is the wear on the outsole. And it hasn't changed much since then to how much more I've been walking in it. So what you see now is pretty much what I saw when I reached 100 miles in the shoe. So in terms of the upper, it's looking and holding up really good. No snags, no fraying, no tears, no nothing. And I just, I love this upper on this shoe. It's so, so comfy. For an easy day shoe that I've been using it for, it's just been absolutely mind-blowingly good. The midsole is holding up well. Again, it's no loss of bounce, no loss of pop. It's still nice and cushioned. So again, after 100 miles, that's feeling good. It's the middle bit here on the forefoot of the outsole rubber. You can just see a little bit of wear just around here. Some of the pattern going slightly this hasn't changed since I've been walking in it. This was like that after 100 miles. The rest of it is pretty much normal, but that did surprise me a little bit. I mean, if you think about, let's, let's think about the Nova Blast, let's think about the Pegasus, where you've got that really, uh, really strong durable rubber on the outsole. You wouldn't see that after 100 miles. So this rubber outsole clearly isn't quite as durable as what they use in their compounds. So I'm not 100% sure how quickly this is going to wear down or will wear down. So in terms of durability, I think what this is going to be more a case of is how long the midsole holds up because I think you might see a lot of rubber wear going on as you reach the 200 and 300 mile mark in this shoe. But overall, at a 100 mile stage, I cannot complain, it's doing really well. So how have I been using this shoe? How did I use this shoe? It is very much an easy day shoe for me. I can't remember if I mentioned it already, but a quick recap, the weight on this shoe, 401 grams, 14.1 ounces. So it's a big boy. It's a heavy one um, and it definitely doesn't lend itself to picking up the pace. So when I got this shoe, uh, I actually took it out for a moderate run as its first test and it did really well to be fair. Uh, it surprised me considering the weight and kind of a bit of a hot topic this year. I've been testing shoes that are a little bit heavier, especially the Zoom Fly 5, this is another one, um, that actually haven't put me off weighty shoes, if that makes sense. I've tried some heavier shoes in the past and I've really struggled with them. They've just not worked. They've been heavy and cumbersome. But I'm certainly finding this year the shoes that I'm testing that are heavier aren't cumbersome. They're heavy, but they move nicely. And this is one of those shoes that's heavy, but it moves nicely. And on that moderate run, it surprised me. But I kind of knew at that point this wasn't going to lend itself to be a permanent moderate run shoe. And ever since that point, I've just done easy runs in it. And it has done everything I've needed it to do. It's soaked up the impact. It's absorbed everything I've needed it to. It's cushioned the legs. And it's just felt comfy all the way around on those easy runs. So I've got to say, this was just an easy mile shoe for me. But it did the job really, really well. So 
So let's answer that final question in this review, which is, will I continue to use this shoe moving forwards? Normally the answer would be 100% yes, but in this scenario, it is 100% no. Let me explain the reason for that answer. Uh, I've actually dedicated this shoe now to be my casual daily walking around the town trainer. So what I usually do with my shoes, I never buy casual shoes, to be honest with you. I just retire running shoes and then slot them into my rotation. So either if I have I've got a shoe to retirement for running but can continue walking in them I'll use it that way or if I have an abundance of shoes in a certain category which is what I had at the moment uh, then I just kind of pull one of those out uh, that I feel is the most comfiest and will baby the legs the best when I'm out walking around town or looking after the kids or whatever and I'll use that shoe and at the moment I had the Puma Liberate Nitro I had the Under Armour Velocity Flow Wind and I also now have the Saucony Ride 15 plus the New Balance uh, 880 version 12 I've got four shoes that I can use for that easy pace and I had to get rid of the Nova Blast 2s because they'd already had 500 miles in them. I've been walking around in them for six months, so I needed something new. So I decided to choose the New Balance. So that's the only reason, and mainly because they're quite stable. So when I was walking around in the Nova Blast, obviously the foam is very, very soft and just kind of all what your, your foot's always on like high alert wobbling around uh, but this is a lot more of a stable platform i went for the wide version of this shoe so you can see here look at the look at the girth on this bad boy it's absolutely huge <laughs> so i find that this is much more stable uh, than any of the other daily trainers i've got and to be honest with you it was between this and the puma velocity but i just felt like the Puma Velocity, uh, sorry, the, not the Puma Velocity, yeah, the P Puma Velocity Nitro 2 has a little bit more versatility in it and it could go up to moderate pace if I needed to. So I've got a shoe there that I can do two types of runs in it, whereas this one, it just, it does moderate pace, but just there's other shoes that do it better. So that's the reason, it's as purely and simple as that. Otherwise, I would continue to run in it. I'm getting a hunch though, that I feel like this shoe might not be quite as durable as something like the Nova Blast or the Pegasus, especially with the wear that I'm starting to see on the outsole. I'm wondering if this is more of a 400 mile shoe to 500 rather than a 500 plus like the Pegasus or the Nova Blast. So I still feel like it's gonna be really durable, but I'm not 100% sure if it will be as durable as those ones. So those are my thoughts on the New Balance 880 version 12 after 100 miles. A tank of a shoe that was surprisingly fun to run in and I'm really, really enjoying it. It's a shame it's been relegated to walking, but to be honest with you, it's the comfiest walking shoe that I've had in a very, very long time. So a couple of notes on this shoe, just very quickly, be wary of the weight. If you don't mind a heavy shoe, then this is a great option because it certainly doesn't feel the weight it is and it's really, really uh, been a great shoe for me over those easy runs and uh, just bear in mind the sizing I mentioned it in my initial review but in terms of sizing you might want to half size up I was able to go 13, 13 and a half in this shoe and I'd say my normal thumb width at the end is reduced to half a thumb width so I think for anyone that might be a normal size 8 or a size 9 or a size 10 go up to an eight and a half, nine and a half, ten and a half. just give yourself a little bit more room there it just runs a tiny bit small but as always I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below about the 880 version 12 obviously I got it when it was brand new but I know I've been mixing it in a rotation with other shoes so I haven't got the biggest mileage in the shoe so far if you have more mileage in the shoe please do let people know in the comments below how it's holding up have you got 150 200 250 or even 300 plus miles in it let people know how it's doing is it a tank is it doing really well or is the midsole flattening out is the outsole rubber going do share your thoughts and opinions so people can use the comments as a good guide as to whether this shoe is built to last or is something that is a bit of a flash in the pan that's it for me today though guys if you enjoyed the video please do give it a like share it with your friends subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and as always i'll see you in the next one until then